More than 100 scientists have banded together to stop a shark cull off WA. I'm joined now by shark biologist Dr Ryan Kempster. Dr Kempster, what's wrong with the government's new shark policy? So when this policy was announced, it uh, became very clear that very little scientific consultation uh, had occurred to come up with these new measures. And so in talking with my colleagues at various institutes around the world, it was uh, very clear that we all oppose this policy because the killing of sharks, particularly the indiscriminate killing of sharks, can have huge detrimental impacts on the environment. And so we wanted to propose a, a better approach that the government could take to mitigate the risk of shark attacks in WA. It's certainly an emotive topic here in WA. How much support do you have? Yeah, so the open letter that we submitted to the government is backed by over 100 scientists and professionals that work with sharks on a regular basis. And also, it's important to note that there are public petitions going around at the moment, one of which um, is, that has been started by a colleague of ours, has now over 35,000 signatures that oppose the uh, lethal killing of sharks in WA. Now, six people have been killed by sharks in WA in about two years. What do you think the government should be doing to protect swimmers and surfers from sharks? So with the current approach that the government has taken, uh, there are some really good elements in there, including increasing education and awareness as to the risks of shark attacks, putting up beach signage so people are very aware of the situations and risks that uh, present um, higher chances of coming into contact with sharks and therefore a higher chance of a, a negative encounter with a shark. But what we want to see is the government using what they've put forward, but actually initiating a non-lethal approach to shark mitigation, whereby the sharks would actually be removed from the area, but not actually killed. All right, Dr. Ryan Kempster, thank you for your time today. Thanks, Matt. Scientists from around the world have come together to oppose the state government's lethal shark solution. Instead of killing sharks, the experts claim they should be moved away from popular Perth beaches. Daniel Donnelly reports. The final piece of WA's first shark barrier is put into place. The ocean blockade stretches along 300 metres of Coogee Beach, 75 metres out from shore. From Christmas Day, it will provide an area to swim in, safe from ocean predators. The state government's shark solution will see baited drum lines set, with commercial fishers used to catch and kill big sharks that come within a kilometre of popular Perth beaches. More than 100 scientists and shark experts are voicing their concerns with an open letter to the government. Uh, this is absolutely the most extreme policy announced by any government. UWA scientist Dr Ryan Kempster says killing sharks won't result in less attacks. He says the answer is to catch sharks close to beaches and move them further out to sea. And so even if you remove half the population, it only takes that one chance encounter with a shark in the wrong circumstances to cause a fatality. Fisheries Minister Ken Baston denies his government's policy is a cull. Well, if we were culling sharks, we'd follow them all the way to South Africa. I mean, there's a whole big sea out there. We're only talking a kilometre offshore. The government's controversial shark policy has divided West Australians. It comes after six fatal shark attacks in the past two years. The new shark policy is expected to start early next year. Daniel Donnelly, 10 Eyewitness News. Shark experts from around the world are taking their anti-shark cull protest to Parliament. They have delivered a petition to the state government calling for it to abandon plans to bait and kill ocean predators. WA's new shark control plan is one of the toughest in the world, but experts say killing them won't reduce attacks. It only takes that one chance encounter with a shark in the wrong circumstances to cause a fatality. And so you would literally have to remove all the sharks for a cull to actually be effective. The government plans to bait and kill large sharks which swim too close to popular beaches and give commercial fishers authority to hunt sharks sighted near the shore. 102 shark scientists from WA and around the world signed a letter calling for the policy to be scrapped. This is absolutely the most extreme policy announced by any government. Nowhere else in the world do they have a targeted cull of sharks. The state government says it will consider the idea, but in the meantime, its current plan will go ahead. We are responding to people's lives. I mean, you know... Uh... If uh, we, we, people are the most important thing here. A 300 metre shark barrier being trialled at Coogee Beach will open to the public tomorrow morning. Estelle Lewis, Nine News.
Opposition to Western Australia's shark kill plan is growing, with a group of international scientists condemning the new policy, which starts next month. Shark biologist Dr. Ryan Kempster has written to the WA government, asking it to abandon the lethal parts of its strategy. The West Australian researcher's letter has been backed by more than 100 shark scientists and professionals from around the world. I'm not surprised at all this response you get from shark experts because it's very well known in the shark literature that culling is not an effective approach to mitigate the risk of shark attacks. The state government says it will still push ahead with its strategy which includes killing large sharks that come too close to the metropolitan coast. Scientist has rallied international support for his fight against WA's new policy to bait and kill sharks. Dr. Ryan Kempster says there's no evidence to suggest killing sharks will reduce attacks, and thousands of people agree with him. Dr. Ryan Kempster is a shark biologist and founder of Support Our Sharks. He's written a letter to the state government asking them to consider non-lethal ways of dealing with sharks, like Brazil. When the sharks are caught, they'll actually remove sharks from the area and take them offshore. This way, you're not actually killing any endangered species. In two weeks, he's been contacted by more than 100 shark experts from around the world who agree. From scientists, from researchers, from people who work professionally with sharks. 33,000 people have now signed a petition against the state government's decision to kill sharks bigger than three metres. Dr Kempster says WA's reputation has been tarnished. This is absolutely the most important policy announced by any government. But the government is sticking to its guns. We've been going gangbusters with tourism, so whatever's happening out there, it, it's, it's working for tourism, and, and long may that continue. A similar program in Hawaii saw more than 4,000 sharks killed. Dr Kempster says research proves the number of deadly attacks did not reduce. Alexis Donkin, 7 News.